Hi everyone, thank you for joining me today. My name is Christina and I invite you to Soul Yoga's new online platform. So let's get started, grab your mat and let's get flowing. Let's begin our flow today by finding a comfortable seated pose on our mat. Crisscross half lotus or your full lotus is fine. You can also sit on top of a block. Placing the hands facing down on top of your knees or on top of your thighs and allowing the eyes to close. Allowing the breath to take over the thoughts, the sensations and any feelings that you may be experiencing in your body. Let's sit here in stillness and in silence for a couple of breaths, allowing the breath to deepen with every inhale and every exhale. Slowly scanning the body for tension, beginning with the legs, moving to the belly, to the heart, to the chest, to the throat and the muscles in your face. Ask yourself, where can you soften? With your next big breath, draw the hands at heart center, connecting the palms, connecting the fingertips, and maybe bringing the thumbs really close to the chest so that you can feel your heartbeat. Dedicating our practice today to finding some gratitude in our heart, to allowing those feelings of joy and happiness to invade our whole being and then slowly drawing the thumbs to that space in between your eyes, your intuition. Using your next inhale to reach the arms towards the sky and with your exhale, drop the left hand on top of the right knee, right hand behind the spine to twist to the right side of your body. With every inhale, think about elongating the spine and with every exhale, twisting a little bit deeper. With your next inhale, reach the arms up towards the sky and with your exhale, twist to the opposite way. So drop the right hand on the left knee, left hand behind the spine, twisting to the left. Allowing the breath to deepen to help you go deeper and with your next inhale, reach the arms up towards the sky. With your exhale, slowly draw the hands back into the heart center and place them in front of you to roll into your hands and knees, coming into your tabletop position. Making sure the shoulders are directly over the wrists and hips over the knees. Inhale, look up, drop the belly. Exhale, push the floor away, suck the belly in. Cat and cows. Inhale to look up. Exhale, push the floor away. Continue breathing at your own pace with your own breath. With your next breath, start activating your dancing lions, which is a free form movement of the body while in your tabletop position. Freeing the mind and freeing the body from any expectations and just allowing yourself to move freely. So let the body circle around to the right, and to the left, to the front and the back. There's no really right or wrong, just let yourself flow. With your next exhale, shift the body into child's pose. So connect the big toes in the back, allow the knees to open mats width apart and extend the arms in front of you, connecting your forehead or your third eye with the ground. With your next breath, press the fingertips on the ground and lift the palms away. Keep the forehead connected and with the exhale, walk the hands over to the right side of your mat. Maybe placing the left hand on top of the right for a deeper stretch on the left side of your body. With the next breath, come back to center and with the exhale, take it over to the left side of your mat. Again, maybe placing the right hand on top of the left for a deeper stretch on the right side of your body. Allow the inhale to bring you back to center and then slowly just start rocking your forehead on the ground left and right, massaging your third eye. With your next inhale, lift yourself back up into that hands and knees position. Slowly opening the front of the wrist, so turn one hand at a time, fingers towards your knees, thumbs out to the side. Tuck the toes behind you and begin rocking your body back and forth, slowly breathing into the forearms and into the front of the wrists. If you need a little more sensation, you can tuck the toes behind you and lift the knees about 2 inches off the ground to float your tabletop this way. 
With the exhale, come back to center. This time, flipping one palm at a time up towards the sky, fingers towards each other. On your exhale, lower the chin down. On the inhale, lift yourself up. Exhale to lower, inhale to lift. Take one more with your own breath at your own pace. Meet me back in your neutral spine tabletop position. On the inhale, press the toes to lift the hips all the way up. Exhale, heels to the back of your mat. First downward facing dog of today's practice. Allow the breath to sink in. Allow the breath again to take over the thoughts and the sensations and just breathe through all the different feelings in your body. Begin pedaling the legs, bending one knee with your inhale and one knee with your exhale, allowing the arms to press the ground firmly away from you. With the exhale, come back to stillness. With your next big inhale, shift the weight forward, shoulders over the wrist, plank pose. With your exhale, lower the knees, lower the chest, lower the chin to the floor. With your inhale, slide through and up for a cobra pose. On your next breath, look over the right shoulder. Come back to center, look over the left. Come back to center. Tuck the toes, lift up and back, downward facing dog. Option to bend the knees one more time until it feels good, until it feels right to find stillness. With your next inhale, shift the weight forward back into the plank pose, holding for the inhale, staying for the exhale. With your next exhale, lower the knees, lower the chest, lower the chin. Inhale to slide through and up, cobra pose. Exhale to push the floor away, tuck the toes, lift up and back, downward facing dog. Inhaling and exhaling for two. With your next inhale, shift the weight forward one more time, plank pose. With your exhale, lower the knees, lower the chest, lower the chin. Inhale, slide through and up, cobra pose, chest forward, head high. Exhale, push the floor away, downward facing dog. With your next inhale, pick up the heels and begin tippy-toeing your feet all the way to meet your hands. On your next breath, place the hands on the shins, halfway lift. With your exhale, fold. Reach for opposite elbows and begin swaying heavily over your legs, left and right, side to side. Bring the forearms to the outside edge of the right knee. With your next inhale, think about lifting as you round yourself all the way up through the right side and exhale to lower down through the left side. Let's switch sides. So go ahead and lift through the left side and inhale all the way up, forearms to the sky. Exhale, fold towards the right side and all the way back down. Release the hands to the floor. Shake your head out, yes. Shake your head out, no. With your next inhale, round the spine to pick yourself all the way up to standing, reaching the arms to the sky, connecting the palms. Exhale, slowly lower the hands down to the heart center and pause. Big inhale, reach the arms up. Big exhale, fold all the way down, hands to the floor. Big inhale, halfway lift, look in front of you. Big exhale, fold. Go ahead and step the right foot towards the back of your mat. Left foot follows plank pose. With your exhale, lower down, chaturanga. Use the knees if you need to. Inhale, slide through and up, cobra or upward facing. Exhale, push the floor away, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the right foot all the way up, bend the knee, make the knee the highest point, and begin drawing imaginary circles with the right knee up in the sky, accessing your hip socket joint. Switch directions, take it around the other way now. With your next inhale, kick the foot all the way up towards the sky with your exhale knee to your nose. 
Big inhale, lift it all the way up. Big exhale, knee to the nose, round the spine. Big inhale, lift it all the way up. Big exhale, knee to the nose, one more time. Big inhale, lift it all the way up. Exhale, knee to the nose, look in between your hands and step the foot in. Left foot follows, fold over your legs. Inhale, halfway lift, look in front of you. Exhale, fold. With your inhale, round the spine, pick yourself all the way up to standing, arms towards the sky. Exhale, hands to the heart, arms by your side. Big inhale, lift the arms up. Big exhale, fold all the way down, hands to the floor. Inhale, halfway lift, look in front of you. Exhale, fold. Step, jump, or walk. Make it through your vinyasa flow. Exhale to lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, slide through and up, upward facing dog. Exhale, push up and back, downward facing dog. Big inhale, left foot to the sky, bend the knee, make the knee the highest point and begin accessing your hip socket joint, drawing the same circles as we did in the opposite side. Switch directions with the next breath. Stay strong with your hands, pushing the floor away. Kick the foot behind you. On your next exhale, knee to the nose, round the spine. Inhale to lift, push the floor away. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale to lift. Exhale, crunch it in. Inhale to lift. Exhale, knee to the nose. Pause, look in between your hands and step the foot in. Right foot follows, fold over your legs. Inhale, halfway lift, look in front of you. Exhale, fold. Round the spine, pick yourself all the way up to standing. Arms towards the sky, connecting the palms. Exhale, hands to the heart, arms by your side. Big inhale, reach the arms up. Big exhale, fold all the way down. Big inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Step, jump or walk, go through your vinyasa flow. Inhale to lift up, cobra upward facing. Exhale, push the floor away, downward facing dog. Big inhale, reach the right foot all the way up. Big exhale, knee to the right elbow. Inhale, lift all the way up. Exhale, knee to the nose. Inhale, reach all the way up. Exhale, knee to the left elbow, cross it over. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, knee to the nose. Look in between your hands and step the foot in. Go ahead and lower the left knee down, untuck the toes and reach the arms towards the sky. Pressing the hips forward, lifting up with the fingertips touching the sky. So drop the hands behind, clasp the fingers and open your heart, optional back bend. With your next inhale, reach the arms towards the sky and with the exhale, frame the front foot, half splits. Inhale to extend the right leg, toes towards your face. Inhale to look up. Exhale to fold deeper over the right leg. Again, inhale to look up. Exhale, fold a little bit deeper, working soften. Go ahead and bend the right knee, tuck the toes behind you, lift the knee, swing the arms towards the back of your mat. Stay strong with the core. Inhale, high crescent lunge, arms towards the sky. With your exhale, water wheel, left hand forward, right hand back. Optional to drop the back hand behind, reaching for the outside edge of the opposite leg and dancing the left hands overhead. On your exhale, drop the left hand down, reach the right arm to the sky, simple twist. Optional to reach the arm overhead, creating one streamline of energy from your fingers to the back foot. On your exhale, drop the right hand towards the floor and step the right foot back, flank pose. Exhale, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, slide through and up. And exhale, push back, downward facing dog. Inhale to lift the left foot all the way up. Exhale, knee to the left elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to your nose, crunch it in. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee crosses over, right elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to the nose, look in between your hands and step the foot in. Lower the right knee down, untuck the toes and lift the arms up towards the sky. 
Take one more breath and with your exhale, optional back bend. So lower the hands behind your back, clasp the fingers and let that light in your heart shine. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, reach the arms all the way up. Exhale, frame the front foot, half splits, extend the left leg, toes towards your face. On your next inhale, look up, look in front of you. Exhale, fold over the left leg. Inhale, look up. Exhale, fold. This time with the next breath, bend the left knee, tuck the toes behind you, lift the knee, swing the hands towards the back. Activate those fingers. Inhale, reach the arms all the way up towards the sky. Stay strong. Water wheel, go ahead and reach the right hand forward, left hand back. Take your time to find your own beautiful expression, whether it's staying here or dropping the hand and dancing it back with the right fingertips. Stay strong, exhale, drop the right hand down, left arm to the sky, simple twist, optional arm overhead bicep to the ear. Drop the left hand down to the floor and take a big step back, plank pose. Lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, slide through and up. And exhale, push back, downward facing dog. With your next inhale, pick up the heels, bend the knees, travel to the top of your mat. Big inhale, look up. Big exhale, fold. Inhale to round the spine as you pick yourself all the way back up to standing, connecting the palms over your head. Exhale, hands to the heart, arms by your side. Inhale, reach the arms all the way up and lower the right hand down the right side of the body for your side stretch. Feeling and breathing the left side. With your next inhale, connect the palms over your head, come back to center. With your exhale, let's switch sides. So lower down the left hand down the left side, right bicep to the ear. Inhale, arms to the sky. Exhale, hands to the heart and down by your side. Chair pose, toes touch, knees together. Bend the knees, sweep the arms up, Utkatasana. Take a breath in, take a breath out. With your next exhale, allow the hands to reach behind you, clasp the fingers and fold over your legs. Exhale, release the hands down to the floor and inhale, flat back. Exhale, step, jump or walk, go through your vinyasa flow. Inhaling to lift and exhaling to push back into your downward facing dog. With your next inhale, right leg to the sky and step it through in between your hands for your warrior one. So place the back foot 45 degree angle, heel to heel alignment, hips are squared, fingers reaching out towards the sky. Take one more deep breath here and with your exhale, clasp the hands behind, interlace the fingers, open the heart, humble your warrior, shoulder to the inside of the right knee and breathe, surrender. With your next inhale, go ahead and reach your arms all the way back up, warrior one. Extend the front leg, bring the hands to the hips and fold over your legs, wide-legged forward fold. Drop the hands to the floor, connecting to the outside edges of your feet or your legs. Grab something and just pull the crown of the head closer and closer to the ground. Breathe. With your exhale, drop the hands and inhale halfway lift. Go ahead and walk the hands in front of you for a wide legged downward facing dog and just surrender the chest down towards the floor. Breathe into the spaces of the body that feel tight. Slowly walk yourself back to center and now walk the hands through your legs towards the back in the opposite way. With the inhale, go ahead and walk the hands back to center and now to frame the right foot. Warrior one, rise back. On the inhale, pick up the back heel, neutralize the hips, high crescent lunge. With your exhale, draw the hands to the heart, start leaning forward and pick up the left foot off the ground, transferring into your warrior three, hands at heart center. With your next exhale, slowly step the left foot really close to the right, toe to toe, knee to knee, bend the knees, reach the arms up, Utkatasana, chair pose. Take a breath in, take a breath out. With your exhale, swing the arms back again, clasp the hands and fold over your legs.
On the exhale, drop the hands towards the floor and inhale halfway lift. Step jump or walk, go through your vinyasa flow. We'll all meet back in our downward facing dog. Big inhale, lift the left foot all the way up and exhale, step it in between your hands. Warrior one, 45 degree angle, reach those arms to the sky. Feel that warrior energy running through your veins. On your exhale, drop the hands behind, clasp the fingers and open your heart. Exhale, humble your warrior shoulder to the inside of the left knee. Surrender the crown of the head to the floor and breathe. On the inhale, push down to rise back up into your warrior one. On your next breath, go ahead and extend the front leg, bring the hands to the hips and fold with a flat back all the way down, white legged fold. Optional to stay here or to go ahead and prepare for your inversion practice. You could take a headstand of your choice, forearm or handstand practice. If you're upside down, think about your exit strategy and start lowering your feet down to the ground. Inhale to push the floor away and walk yourself back to framing the left foot. Inhale, warrior one, rise the arms to the sky. With your next inhale, pick up the back heel, neutralize the hips. Exhale, hands to the heart. Begin leaning forward over the left thigh to pick up the right foot off the ground. Try to find a balance, try to fight for that alignment. With your next exhale, slowly step the right foot really close to the left, toe to toe, knee to knee. Bend the knees, reach the arms to the sky, back to our chair pose. On your exhale, drop the hands to the floor. Go ahead and clasp the hands and you can bring them behind your head to release tension from your neck. With your next exhale, drop the hands down, prepare for a crow pose. So start bending the elbows in towards the knees, bringing the knees on top of the tricep area. Try to find the balance, you're not expected to do this, but if you want to give it a try, shoot back into your chaturanga. Inhale, slide through and up, we'll all meet in our downward facing dog, make your way there. With your next inhale, reach the right leg all the way up. Go ahead and bring it to the right elbow. Stay here for two breaths or fly. If you're staying, you're holding, you're breathing using the core. Inhale, three-legged dog. Go ahead and knee crosses over towards the left elbow, shooting star. Foot towards the top corner of your mat. Reach the left arm towards the sky. Breathe, lift the hips higher. Drop the left hand down, step it back, plank pose, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, slide through and up, and exhale, push back, downward facing dog. Inhale to lift the left leg all the way up. Exhale, knee to the left elbow, stay or fly. Your choice. If you're holding, you're using the core. On your next inhale, go ahead and lift the left leg all the way up. Cross it over to the right elbow on the exhale, shooting start. Inhale to reach the right arm up and overhead. Focus on the hips. With your next exhale, drop the right hand down, step it back, plank pose, exhale, lower down. Inhale, slide through and up, and exhale, push back, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the right leg all the way up. Exhale, knee to the nose. Step it in between your hands and open up the arms for your warrior two. Make sure your alignment is correct. Foot to arch alignment, back foot parallel to the back of your mat. Arms reaching in opposite directions. Take one more breath here. Flip the front palm up and back. Reverse your warrior. Little to no weight in the back hand, reaching higher with the right fingertips. Slowly transition in side angle, resting your elbow on top of the knee, left fingers towards the sky. Option to go bicep to the ear, extended side angle, or to drop the right hand to the inside or outside of the right foot. Keep opening that heart open towards the left side of the wall. Breathe. 
on your next breath half bind or your full bind optional birds of paradise if you wish to practice that on your practice today if you're working towards it you can work on extending the right leg and just feel how that feels for you if you want to go for the full expression step the left foot forward transfer the weight to the left foot and start trying to find a balance to pick up the right leg as you extend the foot up towards the sky With your exhale, start transitioning back into the side angle pose. On your exhale, slowly release the bind. Drop the left hand down, frame the front foot, pick up the back heel. Left hand stays, right arm to the sky. Transitioning to our side plank. Use the core to bring the right foot on top of the left. Focus on your hips. Option to lower the bottom knee to the floor to help you. Option to find your tree pose. Next option to lift the right foot all the way up towards the sky or peace sign fingers big toe lock position or arm overhead. Many options. Choose the one that feels good for you. Slow your way back to your plank and exhale lower down. Inhale slide through and up and exhale push back downward facing dog. Big inhale to lift the left leg up. Big exhale to step it through in between your hands. Inhale to cartwheel up warrior two. Find your breath. Find the alignment. With your next breath, flip the front palm, lean forward, up and back, reverse your warrior. Keep the front knee bent, keep reaching high with the left fingers to the sky. With your next exhale, side angle, elbow on top of the knee, right fingers to the sky. Same variations as we did on the other side. Maybe you're extended, maybe dropping the hand to the inside or outside of the left foot. Maybe finding your half or your full bind. Maybe even going for your birds of paradise or just easing your way into it by maybe extending the left leg and see how that feels for you. If you went for your birds of paradise on the other side, make sure you take care of it on this side as well. Even when one side feels a little shakier than the other, breathe a little deeper. Slowly finding your way back down and finding your way back into that side angle. Lower the right hand down, frame the front foot, pick up the back heel, right hand stays, left arm to the sky. Moving into our side plank, optional big toe lock. Breathe, find your own beautiful expression, same thing that you did on the other side, whether it was using the knee on the ground or just lifting into your tree pose or all the way up extending the foot to the sky. Take one more breath and then come back, plank pose. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, slide through and up and exhale, push back, downward facing dog. Go ahead and open your feet, mat distance apart. Preparing for our malasana, walk the hands towards your feet and lower the hips to the ground. Optional to sit on your block. Bring the hands at heart center, elbows inside of the knees and just close your eyes and breathe. For a little more sensation, you can extend the right hand in front of the right knee and reach the left arm towards the sky. Option to stay here, go deeper by going into your half bind. Or maybe finding your full bind, reaching both arms behind the knee. With your next inhale, release hands to the heart. Slowly, let's go on to the other side. So left hand in front of the left knee, right arm to the sky. Same variation we take on the other side, half bind or full bind. Focus solely on your breath. Slowly finding your way back to center. Extending the arms in front, big inhale to lift the hips and lift the arms. Big exhale to sit back low. Big inhale, lift up. Big exhale, lower down. Big inhale, rise up. Big exhale, lower down. Big inhale, lift all the way up. Big exhale, come back down and pause. You allow the hands to come back to center and drop them on your mat, extending the hips up towards the sky, bring the feet behind the hands and shake your head. Big inhale, halfway lift, big exhale, fold. Walk the hands back to your downward facing dog. With your next inhale, pick up the heels, bend the knees, top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold. 
inhale to round the spine pick yourself all the way up to standing connecting the palms exhale hands to the heart arms by your side Inhale to bring the right knee, clasp your hands over the knee and flex the right toes as if you were stepping on something. Bring the left hand to the left hip, right peace and fingers, big toe. Extend the foot in front of you and then slowly open the leg out to the side. Gaze towards the left side, extend the left arm to the left. With your next inhale, come back to center and bring both hands to the waist. Flex and point your toe, flex and point your toe. Slowly with the exhale, drop the foot to the ground, other side. Bring the left knee in towards the chest, clasp your hands around the knee, flex the toes. Bring the right hand to the right hip, peace and fingers, left big toe. Extend the leg. If you wish, open it out to the side gaze past the right side extend the right arm to the right with the next breath come back to center and slowly bring both hands to the waist point and flex point and flex lower the left foot down big inhale reach the arms up exhale fold all the way down Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold, step, jump or walk, inhale, through and up, exhale, push up and back, downward facing dog. Big inhale to reach the right leg all the way up, exhale, bend the knee, open up the hip and flip your dog, let the foot drop down, reach the right arm up and to the front of the room. Slowly come back to center, exhale, knee to the nose. Inhale, right foot to the sky, exhale, pigeon pose, right knee behind the right wrist, left leg extends behind. Walking the hands towards the hips to adjust to square them off and then slowly when you're ready, walking the hands in front of you, making yourself lower down, chest over the thigh. Taking at least 6 to 8 inhales and exhales, focusing on releasing, on accessing the places in our hips that feel tight. Focusing on the things we would like to keep and the things that we want to let go with the exhale. With your next inhale, start picking yourself back up, framing the right knee, lifting the head, bringing the chest forward. Optional mermaid, bending the left knee, reaching up and around with the left hand, grabbing the inside of the back foot. Option number two, bring the foot to the inside crease of the elbow. With your exhale, release and let the leg fall back. Frame the front knee and swing the left leg up and around left foot to the outside edge of the right thigh for your spinal seated twist left hand behind the spine right arm reaches to the sky and then right elbow left knee with your next exhale bring both hands to the right side of your mat and lower the chin to the floor to counter the twist go ahead and come back to that pigeon pose tuck the toes behind you lift the right leg all the way up and shake the leg out Go ahead and bend the knees if it feels right for you and then ease your way into your downward facing dog. Big inhale, left leg to the sky, bend the knee, look for your toes under the right armpit and flip your dog. Pick up the hips, lift a little higher, breathe into your heart. With your exhale, slowly come back, exhale, knee to the nose. Inhale, left foot to the sky, exhale, pigeon pose, left knee, left wrist, right leg extends behind. Bring both hands to your waist to square your hips up, give yourself the little love and adjustment and then slowly start walking the hands in front of you to surrender on top of the left thigh. Maybe bring the forearms first and then lower the forehead to the ground. With every breath you take, try to think about one thing you can't release. Maybe tension, fear or anxiety that has been stored in the hip area. Allow the breath to help you access those dark places.
With your next inhale, lift yourself up. Bend the back knee, reach up and around with the right hand to grab the inside edge of the back foot. Mermaid. Going for the same variation that you did on the other side, whether it was bringing the foot to the inside crease of the elbow or grabbing all the way around. On your exhale, slowly release. Go ahead and swing the right leg up and around, bringing the right foot to the outside edge of the left thigh. Right hand behind the spine. Big inhale to reach the left arm up and place the left elbow outside of the right knee. Continue breathing, inhaling and exhaling. On the exhale, bring both hands to the left side of your mat and lower the chin down to the floor. Extend both legs in front of you and move the flesh away from the sides. On the inhale, reach the arms all the way up. On the exhale, place the hands by your side and bring the chin down to the chest, breathing into the back of your neck. On the inhale, reach the arms all the way up. On the exhale, bring the knees to the chest, reach for opposite elbows, forearms or wrists and just hold space for yourself. With your next inhale, reach the gaze back up in front of you, release the hands in front, top of your mat. Start lifting the heels and lifting the feet off the ground for your Navasana boat pose. Option to keep the knees bent or extend the legs all the way up. On the exhale, slowly lower yourself down into your canoe or low boat. Activate the core, press the palms against each other. Take one more deep breath and on your exhale, slowly start lowering yourself all the way down to the mat. Bring your feet towards your hips, touch the heels with your hands. Inhale to lift the hips up towards the sky for your bridge pose planting the palms on the ground or interlacing the fingers bringing the shoulder blades closer to each other. Option number three, to bring the hands to the lower back and support yourself this way. On the exhale, slowly release, lowering one vertebra at a time. Preparing for a second set, place the hands for your bridge or your wheel. On your next inhale, push down to lift hips up towards the sky. On your exhale, lower the crown of the head down to the floor and walk your hands closer towards the feet. Inhale to push down and lift the hips for your third and last back bend set. you're ready, start making your way back down to the floor, lowering one vertebra at a time and then gently bringing the knees towards the chest. Grab behind the knees and start rocking back and forth until you find yourself in a comfortable seated pose. Move the flesh away. Inhale, reach the arms up and exhale, fold, seated, forward fold. Focus on keeping length in your spine and then surrender on top of your legs. On the inhale, start lifting yourself all the way up and then slowly on your exhale, lower yourself back down towards the floor. Bring both knees towards the chest. Eagle on the floor, so lift the right leg up and eagle wrap it on top of the left leg. Lift the arms up, right arm under the left arm. If you can't reach for the palms, you can reach for opposite shoulders. Slowly unwrap the arms, keep the legs the way they are, bring the left hand to the outside edge of the right knee and drop it towards the left side for a belly twist with eagle legs. Reach the right arm towards the right side in the opposite way and breathe into your belly.
Take the inhale, come back to center, unwrap the legs. On the inhale, extend both legs up towards the sky, flex and point your toes. Reach both hands towards your feet, connecting the palms and just allowing the blood flow to come back to your center core. Exhale, other side, left leg over the right, reach the arms up, bring the left wing under the right, eagle pose. On your exhale, release the arms and let's twist. Right hand to the outside edge of the left knee, twist yourself over to the right, left arm to the left, gaze past the left fingertips, breathing into the lower digestive system. On your next breath, come back to center, bringing both knees into the chest, unwrapping and lifting the feet up to the sky. Bring the palms together. On your exhale, drop the hands down by your side, palms to the floor. Push down to lift into your shoulder stand, supporting your lower back with the hands. Point or flex your toes, just find stillness. With your exhale, slowly start lowering your feet down behind you, allowing the feet to touch the ground. If the feet touch the ground, you can release the hands and interlace the fingers. Option to lower the knees towards the ears and reach with the hands towards the heels. When you're ready to release, slowly support your way back down the same way you lift it up, lowering one vertebra at a time and then gently coming into your fish pose. Many leg variations are okay, you can notice your legs or extend the feet in front of you. Support your forearms on the ground, connect the crown of the head to the floor, take deep inhales in through the nose, open your mouth and sigh it out. Repeat for three times. With your exhale, slowly release. Let yourself drop back to your mat, extending the legs in front of you, allowing yourself to find your final Shavasana. Slowly inviting the movement back by wiggling the fingers and the toes, circling the ankles and the wrists. Maybe rocking the head side to side and using the next inhale to reach the arms over your head and point the toes at the same time. With your exhale, draw the knees back into the chest, hug yourself for a second. When you're ready, drop to the right side of your mat, releasing tension from your heart. With your next breath, slowly start finding your way back into that comfortable seated pose. And bring the hands to the heart center. Let's om. 